All righty. It is 1015. I'm going to wait about, what do you think, Miss Geis? Like one more minute to let people join the advisory just started. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those of you who are here. We will get started in just a moment. Like I mentioned, the Q&A is open. Hopefully we answer your questions today. This is very exciting. <laughs> It's senior time. It sure is. It's so exciting. Feels good to be doing a webinar again. Here we are. Wow. <laughs> it's so fun. I can't take it. All right. We're at 1016. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll record. So we are recording and this will be posted. So no stress if you're coming in late. All righty. I'm Miss Shembury, everybody. Hello. Nice to not, I don't see anybody, but I see some of your names. Hello. And with me is. Hi, seniors. This is Miss Geis, one of the counselors here at Del Mar. Amazing. Welcome to part one of our senior webinar series. There will be two of these starting with today, April 20th. Our second session will be on May 11th, also during advisory. This presentation that we are going over today, as well as the recordings of both webinars will be posted on the Del Mar website. So if you have questions after today's event, or you just want to get some follow-up information, you'll be able to access this presentation and the recordings. We're going to be going over important dates and deadlines for seniors, upcoming activities such as graduation, prom, and other senior events that we have. And then we'll talk about the next steps for seniors in the future webinar that we're going to have. So as Ms. Shembury mentioned, we do have a Q&A feature that is running. If you have questions, you can submit them to the Q&A so that we can answer them. Hopefully we answer most of your questions in this presentation, um, but let's go ahead and... Let's do it. Um, we've got some very important dates coming up um, for seniors that we wanna make sure that you know about. The end of the 12 week grading period just passed on Friday, April 15th. Grades will be finalized this week and then 12 week progress notices will be mailed home to students. As usual, counselors will be following up with any senior who is in danger of failing. One of the classes that are required for graduation, teachers are also making contact with families regarding students' progress in their courses. Um, cap and gown distribution will happen next week on April 27th during advisory. Um, following that, our senior survey that is a part of seniors required checkout process will be available in advisory on May 4th. You likely will be able to finish that senior survey during your advisory time. That way you are done. You have one more step that's completed for your senior checkout. We'll have our next update webinar on May 11th for students to join to get some follow-up information, especially as we get closer to uh, graduation. Prom is scheduled for May 21st. We'll go over that information coming up. Seniors, if you are enrolled in a night school course over at CASE, Campbell Adult and Community Education, those courses end on May 26th. All assignments, all exams, everything must be completed by May 26th so that we can get final grades from teachers to make sure that any classes you are taking for credit recovery are completed by that deadline. At Del Mar, seniors will take their finals on May 26th and May 27th. So all classes will be complete at Del Mar by May 27th. Senior checkout will come the following week on May 31st. You'll have three days of graduation practice, May 31st, June 1st, and June 2nd, and the official ceremony will be June 2nd. We'll go over the details of these events, but these are all the dates that you wanna be keeping in mind as we get through the end of the year. I wanna pause Ms. Geis before I start about caps and gowns. Ms. Diaz just joined us. Ms. Geis, do you have on your end the interpretation globe that we can start interpretation if any of our families need it? Is it at the bottom of your screen? I believe so. Sorry, everybody. Hi, Ms. Diaz. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get the interpretation started if anybody needs it. I think I have it turned on. I hope so. Great. Awesome. Okay, we're going to keep going. So um, if anybody needed translation, that is now available at the bottom of your screen. Please select your language, either English or Spanish, um, to make sure that you can access this presentation. Ms. Diaz, can you hear us? Okay. We'll check in with her in a minute. 
Um, all right. So caps and gowns, like this guy said, next Wednesday during advisory at this very time, we will be handing out caps and gowns. Ah, so exciting. So do not miss advisory on this day. If you have a friend who is not currently in advisory or who's absent or whatever the case may be, make sure that you let them know that this is a very important advisory to attend next week. Um, some tips and tricks, expert pro tips regarding caps and gowns, take it home and immediately take it out of the bag. It will be wrinkled and have creases. Um, and we just wanna make sure you look as fresh as possible. And then also, there is a chance that sometimes our cap and gown doesn't fit right. It's too short, it's too long, it's too wide. Um, the cap is too small. We do have a select few number of um, larger caps. So it's best to try it on and make sure that it fits. We don't want you tripping over it. We don't want you to um, have the wrong cap and have it fall off. So uh, make sure that um, that works. And about if it's too short, that really just means like if it's up at your knees, anything kind of like mid calf or like by your ankle is fine. It should not be touching the ground. Um, so caps and gowns happen next week. Those are here, they are on campus, they're ready to go. Um, oh, that's you, Ms. Geist. Yeah, so next is a senior survey. Each year, Delmar asks our graduating senior class to complete a survey. Um, and it serves a couple of purposes. One is that it helps us find out what students are doing after high school, kind of what their plans are. We also use it to submit official transcripts. So for students who are getting their admissions offers from colleges or universities, if they're deciding where they're going to attend, if they're joining the military, if they're going to community college, whatever the case may be, we are required to send official transcripts for graduating seniors to those institutions. We use this survey to figure out where to send those on your behalf. So on May 4th, the senior survey will be available in your Naviance account. It will be assigned to you as a task. So when you log on in your Naviance account, the senior survey will be right there for you to access. You should be able to finish it during your advisory period. It's not super long. Um, it just asks you about your, your plans after high school and the places that you've applied to, to let us know where to send your official transcript so that our registrar can do that for you. There are schools who are still notifying students of admissions decisions. If you have not heard from schools yet, you can always check their admissions website. They generally will put the release date of their admissions decisions, or you can contact the admissions office directly if you have not heard back regarding your application status. For most colleges and universities, May 1st is the deadline to submit what's called your uh, statement of intent to register, which means that if you are planning to commit to a university and attend in the fall, you need to let them know by May 1st to secure your spot. So May 4th is when this survey will be available. You can complete it during your advisory period. Um, it will be due by the time you go to senior checkout on May 31st. All righty, prom, this is an exciting one. So you may have heard prom tickets are on sale. It's a junior and senior prom. Um, guests are allowed from any other school, any other district, if they're not in a school right now, as long as they're under 20 years old. Also guests who are a ninth and 10th grader at Del Mar, if you're bringing um, somebody who is an underclassman, they also do need a guest pass to sign pass signed so that we know that their parent um, is aware that they'll be at an off-campus dance. Uh, the address is there. It's on May 21st from 6 to 10. Here's the price breakdown. Please be aware that prices do go up as the weeks go on. So just something to keep in mind. Guest passes are available in the student store. Um, you can pick one up. Make sure you get all of those signatures before you buy your ticket. Um, we do stop ticket sales the week before to be able to give a head count to the venue. And we do not sell tickets at the door. So uh, May 13th is the absolute last day that you can buy a prom ticket um, and dinner is included in the cost. So um, you can plan on eating dinner. It's a very nice dinner. It's a beautiful venue. It's outside. Um, the dinner part portion is outside. Um, so yeah, that, those are the details on prom. All right, your last round of finals at Del Mar forever are coming up on Thursday, May 26th and Friday, May 27th. All seniors take their finals early before the rest of the school uh, because you have your checkout and graduation practice coming up the following week. So in your classes on Thursday, May 26th and Friday, May 27th, seniors will be taking their final exams or completing their final projects, presentations, whatever the case may be for your class. 
Attendance and advisory is required this last week, um, especially as we've been doing these webinars, we're, we're giving out information to seniors, your attendance in advisory for the rest of the year is extremely important because that is where all of our senior information is coming out. It will also be posted on the website, but in terms of completing what you need to do before graduation, your attendance in advisory is mandatory and super important to make sure you get all the information that you need. We reviewed um, night school courses that end on May 26th so that you must complete all of your assignments and exams by that time. On Friday, May 27th, all teachers submit their final senior grade so that we know at that point whether seniors have passed all of their required classes to graduate or not. Every assignment, project, test, anything that you may be making up or turning in or having to complete for your classes must be completed by Friday, May 27th. Once we get those grades submitted from teachers, Senior families will be notified if their student was not able to pass classes that are required for graduation and if they're not able to participate in the graduation ceremony. If that is the case, we do have summer school. If seniors need to finish up classes in the summertime, they'll be able to do that and still get their high school diploma, but they will not be able to participate in the graduation ceremony if they do not finish everything they need to do and pass their classes by that deadline Friday, May 27th. The following week is senior checkout. So all seniors are required to come to check out. This is your time to turn in everything that you have had at Delmar during your time here. Senior checkout will be taking place on campus while other students are still attending classes and getting ready for their final exams. So we ask seniors, please make sure that you're not disrupting other classes that are still continuing. Um, you'll need to bring back your Chromebook, your charger, a hotspot if you've had one checked out to you, any textbooks, athletic equipment that you may have. Anything that you've checked out from Del Mar during your time here will be due at that time to turn it in along with the senior survey. So we will check for every student to make sure that they've completed it. If you haven't completed your senior survey by the 31st, when you show up for checkout, we will have you do it at that time. So it's really to your advantage to do it before you come to campus well before that May 31st deadline. So it's one less thing you've got to take care of. If you have fines um, that you've accumulated throughout your time at Del Mar, you will also need to pay those fines um, during that checkout time. We have the contact information here um, from Ms. Becerra Jimenez. If you have questions about any fines that you may have or what's been checked out to you if you're not sure. Um, and then graduation practice will happen right after senior checkout is complete. Um, there's a question about um, where can you check items? I would email um, Ms. Becerra uh, Jimenez and then also like just just go through all of your things, books, anything that looks like it may be from Del Mar, definitely um, bring it back. And we can see that you can also email this email address here and she can help you. Or you can check with her in room 49. Mm -hmm. All righty, graduation practice. These are mandatory and super fun. They're actually really fun. This is a fun time. So we have three, it feels like a lot, but they go by super fast. So May 31st, directly following senior checkout, we will have graduation practice. That will be the first one. That is where you will choose your seat. You do not sit in alphabetical order. You will choose who you'd like to sit next to. Um, so that is what will happen on the first day. And then June 1st and 2nd, um, we'll run through the ceremony. We start exactly on time at nine o'clock. Um, anybody who is not there, we will immediately start calling home, figuring out where you are why you're not there, and if you will be participating in the ceremony. If you do not come to graduation practice, if you miss any of them, you risk not walking in the ceremony. So it is imperative. These are school days for you. I wanna make sure that that is very clear. These are not days off. You will not be here all day. We will try our best to get you out early by noonish so that, you know, cause it does get hot down in the bowl. Um, but it is imperative that you are there. Please don't make appointments. Um, other things and have to leave early. It is important that you plan to be there as if you were being at school. Um, and graduation, I tell the kids every year, this goes as fast or as slow as, as you make it. So if everybody's paying attention, we're on it, we know what we're doing, um, it will go super quick. If we're not on our game, then it will just take a little bit longer. So. Um, Please bring sunscreen, bring water, bring a hat. It gets hot down there. We're right in the sun. Um, so those bring snacks. Those are all things to keep in mind. Um, but that is the deal with graduation practice. I cannot stress enough that they are mandatory and we will do our best to find you and see where you are if you are not there. But 
you risk not walking if you are not there. <clears throat> All righty, so the ceremony, the most fun part is June 2nd at 5 p.m. in the football bowl. Um, students, you will arrive between 3 and 3.30. I will finalize this time and have it for you at the next webinar. Our staging area is the cafeteria. So you will show up at that time to the cafeteria with all of your items. You won't have your gown physically on. You're going to have it in your hand because we check gowns um, just to make sure you're not bringing anything in that you shouldn't have. You need to have your cap on. Um, and then once we check everybody, you can put your gown um, on and in the cafeteria and then we will stay in there. So it seems like a long time to wait, but it's a good time to like take photos with your friends in there. Um, you kind of just hang out, we get lined up, we take attendance, we make sure everybody's in the right order, all of that. Remember, there's like 300 of you. So those kinds of things take a while. Um, once you are in the cafeteria, you cannot leave the cafeteria. So it can't be like, so and so is here and they're going to give me this and I need to run down to the bowl. No, you have to stay in there. Um, and we don't let anybody into the cafeteria. We have to have just the graduates in there and just the school staff. So please, if you are um, waiting on lays or anything that you want to wear for the ceremony, get all of those beforehand. Don't hang on to the tickets for your family. Make sure they have the tickets um, so that you can just be in the cafeteria and get ready for the ceremony. Also, don't bring anything extra. Don't bring a purse. Don't bring a backpack. Don't bring like extra jackets or whatever the case may be because um, once the ceremony's over, we don't let students back into the cafeteria. It'll be locked and we won't be headed back up there. Um, so it's best to not bring anything extra. All righty, graduation tickets. So after graduation practice on June 1st, we will check and make sure that everybody has gone through senior checkout the day before. Everybody's paid their fines, turned in all their items. Once all those things have been checked off, you will be issued 10 free tickets to graduation to use in whichever way that you'd like. Um, after the 10 tickets, every additional ticket is $2 and we will put those on sale on the same uh, on the same day on June 1st at the student store. So each additional ticket is $2 each. The graduating senior must be the one to purchase the tickets. So we don't sell them, for example, to like current Del Mar students who are sophomores. You can't just come buy a ticket. Um, and the person who buys the tickets that are extra needs to be the graduating senior. And I do get this question sometimes. Yes, you can definitely swap tickets. So if you only need five of yours and you have five extra, you're welcome to lend them to a friend, give them to a friend um, like who's graduating and needs more tickets. That's up to you guys. But um, the graduating senior is the one who has to buy the tickets from the student store and we will open it up right after graduation practice on June 1st. So start to plan now. If you know you need more than 10, figure out how much, you know, that's going to cost. And then we'll, we'll take cash card, Apple Pay, all those things at the student store for you to buy extra tickets if need be. I feel like I already said these things, but I'm going to say them again. I think I messed up my slides. How pretty is this picture though? Hello. Um, so again, Graduation, there's the details. It will be live streamed and the link will be posted on our website, which um, is listed on the first slide of this slideshow. There's a specific class of 2022 webpage on our Delmar website. So where all of this stuff, it, stuff is posted, the live stream link will also be posted there. So if you have friends and family in other places that can't make it here, they can join in virtually. Um, we get a Jumbotron that's new as of last year. It's very cool. Um, yes, you can decorate your caps and you can wear anything to the ceremony, any type of um, lays or stoles, cords, anything that you are given, you can wear. Um, obviously your caps, please keep them appropriate, but I know everybody will. Um, but otherwise, those are some frequently asked questions. I think I just went over that. Um, please make sure that we don't have to remove your cap and give you a fresh clean one. I do have a lot of extras, so um, just keep that in mind. And another thing is, and Mr. Lopez and Mr. Mendoza and I will actually be coming around to senior classes the first week of May to talk about this more in depth, but graduation is a big event. It's a big life moment. Your high school graduation is something that um, a lot of people in 
have been looking forward to for you. I'm sure you've been looking forward to it. So just keep that in mind when you're making decisions leading up to that date. So, um, you know, when we have prom, when we have all of these big events that are coming up, just, you know, please make sure that you're on your best behavior. You're making good choices um, because we don't want to do, have you do anything that will risk your opportunity of walking in the ceremony. Speaking of celebrations, there are several besides graduation that are coming up towards the end of this year. You'll see some dates that are listed here for IB, for AVID, Celebration of the Arts, and Senior Awards Night. These events are invite only, so you will be informed by your program's advisor or sent an invitation if you're participating in any of these events. Um, a lot of these also give out awards or scholarships or stoles and things that you can wear at graduation. Um, so be on the lookout for invitations or information from your advisor of these programs for upcoming events um, for the end of the year. Senior portraits, I know this feels like, wow, Ms. Shembury, why are you talking about this? These already happened. Just in case you're curious, um, the deadline has passed for you to be put in the yearbook with your senior portrait. However, if you are still interested in getting portraits taken, if that's something that your family wants, just so that you have them, not necessarily to be in the yearbook, I did put Now and Forever Studios phone number there. Um, if you'd like to take pictures there, you can also take portraits anywhere that photos are available. But if you're looking to take them at the place where we um, use them for the yearbook, there is the phone number. But I do want to remind everybody that it is too late to get into the yearbook with your senior portrait if you were not photographed. Speaking of yearbooks, it may be too late to get your senior portrait in there, but it is not too late to have a senior celebration posted in the yearbook. So you'll see some information here from our yearbook advisor, Ms. Chase. Her contact information is included at the bottom if you'd like to reach out to her directly with questions. Um, there's a link that you can purchase um, ads for senior celebrations in the yearbook if you choose to do so. Those are due by May 1st. This is optional. If you would like to have something in the yearbook or your parent or guardian family would like something in the yearbook, you can use this link at the bottom to submit and then reach out directly to Ms. Chase for questions about that. If you would like to order a yearbook, you still can do that as well. Um, yearbooks are shipped to student homes in the summertime. So they are available after the end of the school year, but they can be purchased at any time. Um, so there's information here as well, again, about the senior celebrations, um, kind of a price breakdown, depending on what your family might like to do. Um, again, they are due by May 1st. And please um, contact Mrs. Chase, the yearbook advisor, directly if you have any questions about the yearbook. You can also contact the, anybody else with questions. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a senior and you are unsure about where you stand with your grades or your graduation status, please reach out directly to your counselor. We are getting 12 week grades posted this week, like we said, so progress notices will be coming home as well as graduation status warning letters for students who have a D or an F in a class that is required to graduate. We also encourage you to reach out to your teachers if you have not done so already, either through email, through their office hours, sitting down for a conference with them. If you have questions about how you're doing in class and need help, now is the time to have those conversations with teachers to make sure that you finish strong and pass everything that you need for graduation. If you do have questions um, about graduation or other senior events that are coming up, you can contact Ms. Shembri um, and for the yearbook as well, like we mentioned, Mrs. Chase um, is the yearbook advisor and can answer any questions that you have. We did it. Wow. High five. <laughs> in the screen. Um, I don't see any more questions in the Q&A, but we do have about seven minutes left. So if there are any questions that we did not get to, um, now is the time. We will hang out here and, and look and see if there are any other questions. And if you don't have any questions, we'll see you soon. So May 11th will be the next day that we have our webinar coming up. We'll continue to give information about upcoming events, um, details about graduation, about prom. Hopefully most of the information that you need is included in this presentation that, like we said, it will be available on the Del Mar website for you to access. All the email addresses and contact information will be included in that presentation so you can access it anytime. There's a question about the link for the yearbook. We will... Um... We can go back to that slide maybe just so you can write it down. Um, the age limit for someone to need a graduation ticket is two, uh, older than two, two and up. Um, ba, 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 ba. 
Oh, good question. Families are only sitting in the bleachers this year. So last year, because of COVID, we had to do more social distancing. So uh, families were seated both on the field and in the bleachers. This year, everybody will be back in the bleachers, um, like our previous pre-COVID setup. Good question. Before times. Senior sunset, that more information will be coming out about that soon. Stay tuned, ASB and PTSA are still working on that, um, but it is scheduled for May 27th, I believe, um, and it will be from seven to 10 in the bowl. So um, I do have that information, but we will we'll address that in our next webinar. Um, in terms of SVCTE students for graduation practice, we are still working directly with SVCTE on that issue because I know SVCTE students are required to attend right up until June 2nd. So um, as soon as we have that answer, we'll send out a message and then we can cover it again on May 11th. But we are working on it. We're aware of that issue. Um, what kind of outfit should we wear for graduation? It's up to you. There's no, um, you know, just keep in mind it gets hot in the bowl. Your gown does cover your outfit. Um, so, you know, it's whatever your comfort level is. I always suggest wearing shoes that you're comfortable walking down the hill in and then on the turf with, um, but it does get hot. So that's something to keep in mind, except for the one year that it rained, which was very weird, but it's usually hot. <laughs> and you we will don't be monitor down a ramp to get yourself across the stage. So we'll go over this in practice. I know Ms. Shembri mentioned this. Yes. If you have some special or very cute shoes, there's always some cute shoes out there. If you are wearing them to graduation, please bring them with you to practice so that you can practice going up the ramp across the stage and back down the ramp. A lot of times in graduation practice, you know, students are very excited and, and graduation practice takes as long as it takes. And then when we get to the official ceremony, everybody starts to get nervous and ready to walk across the stage. So take it seriously, practice it with the shoes uh -huh. and what you're going to wear. And then you'll be all set on June 2nd. I didn't get that. Always practice with the shoes. Yes. Um, VLA students who need to get their cap and gown, we will have those available after the 27th after school for you. So you can come uh, check in at the office and they'll take you down to room 28. And those will be um, in there for you to pick up. Um, service animals are allowed and others are not. There's a question about if animals are allowed. Mm -hmm. um, for the invite only events, is there a specific day when they'll get the invites if they're chosen? I don't think there's a specific day. I think they all are kind of- They're sent you know, out a few weeks before the event. Yeah, so there's not a specific day that, that you'll receive them, but they're they're generally sent out a few weeks before the event so that you can RSVP and let them know if you're attending. And some of them you may know you're attending, like the IB celebration. If you're someone who's doing the diploma um, or certain pieces of IB, you probably have already kind of heard about it. The AVID celebration, um, if you're an AVID and you're a senior, but the like senior awards night, those invitations will come out a couple weeks before. Um, there are no assigned seats for graduation. It's first come, first serve. Um, and, you know, I did send out a message in my um, letter to families that went home in the mail and um, via Parent Square, and it's on our website. It is first come, first serve. We have a certain time we'll open the gates, and then everyone just can stake out and find a, a place to sit. Um, but I do encourage people to ride share or, like, you know, um, don't park across the street, you will get towed. So try to get here early enough to get a parking spot, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure about the IB celebration for if it's just for candidates or if it's for course candidates as well. I don't know. That would be a question for Ms. Olamet. Unless yeah, you, you can check with Ms. Olamet um, directly for the IB celebration. Um, and then we definitely encourage students, families to come and attend um, the graduation ceremony. They don't need to be there for um, the graduation practice, just students, um, but we definitely encourage you to have your family, anybody that's available to come and celebrate you. Um, you'll be able to use your, your tickets that you receive um, to have your family come and, and watch you walk across the stage. Yay. Senior awards are, yes. Yeah, so students who are receiving awards are the ones who will be invited to senior awards night. And some of those are like surprises um, and different accolades that you may not even know that you're getting. So you'll be excited to get an invitation. <laughs> so fun. This is my favorite time of year. <laughs> wow. I love it. 
All righty, we have about, oh, the bell's gonna ring. So we're gonna wrap this up, but if you have any other questions, hopefully we hit them on May 11th. Thank you, everybody. Bye.